Episode 69. 69. We're on episode 69. 69ing, baby. We 69ing. Yeah. You know who else is 69ing? Who? Your daughter and her new fucking boyfriend. And shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> yet another yet another fucking episode in the books right now oh man we got a lot to talk about today man it's it's uh it's been it's been a fucking week so, it's been a so many fucking things so much to talk about i i have shit that's not even relevant to this week that i want to talk about what <laughs> <laughs> and and of course uh we got to fucking we got to announce we got to announce man Fucking the uh, the new Twitch is operational. Oh, is it? Is yeah. it now? Yeah, oh, my fucking fuck. my my Twitch is operational now, and I think that we should definitely do like an STFU Twitch. Oh, that that'd be that'd be fucking sweet. That'd be, that'd be interesting. Fun. Like that we what? could do we could do this fucking live, and people could comment while we're actually doing it. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? That would be interesting. I'm actually live right now, which is why. I took it upon myself to figure out how to put your audio back in the headphones instead of just coming from the fucking speakers. Oh, so yeah. these so these fucks have to figure out what the other part of the conversation is. Okay. <laughs> You're such a dick. <laughs> oh. Oh. So let's talk about the first thing you want to fucking talk about, because I know it's itching in that soul of yours. Oh, fucking the juice, man. The, the juice is gone. The fucking juice is expired. God damn it. <laughs> that, that cannot be your joke. That is, that is, that is a, definitely my joke. I said a, it as soon as it happened. That's a great fucking joke. Oh, uh, fucking, I just, I just can't fucking believe it, man. Like he, he was such like a monumental part of my childhood, you know? <laughs> I mean, he was just finishing up like when we were born, like, like in the NFL. In yeah. The NFL. Yeah. I mean, like, uh, well, you know, like I remember, I remember the naked gun series and I remember the Hertz commercials and everybody else just remembers the fucking trial. And I, I do remember him catching that baby. At the beginning of Naked Gun, just oh my ooh. god, yeah, he's just fucking catching babies, <laughs> just catch, just catching fucking babies, and and they were all white babies. Interesting. I was I was about to say fucking white babies too. <laughs> I mean, most of his babies are half white. Yeah, no, I mean, that's that's very true. He 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 loved him his white women. That's for that's for sure. He that's loved him sure. to death. <laughs> <laughs> Stab, de stab, stab, stab. <laughs> right. Uh, I don't uh, think we should I, make I, that many OJ Simpson jokes. I think we should take a stab at it tomorrow. <laughs> like, okay, there's so many things wrong with the trial that nobody fucking remembers. Like, I've watched, I've watched the documentary, I've watched the fucking FX series, and the, the FX series was fucking good, dude. Cuba Gooding was so fucking good as OJ, and now. Apparently he's on trial himself. <laughs> he got some good practice for what's coming up at his kitty diddle in trial. Yeah. He's gonna be like, uh, if the glove doesn't fit, you must acquit. If that shit doesn't work in a kitty diddle in trial, <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> I love dude uh, so so I uh I, I got sent a picture by Trucker and it is uh it's OJ at the gates of heaven. And uh, and he says you you will be judged by what you've done in your life. And he goes, is Johnny Cochran available? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so so let's let's address the fucking elephant in the room right now. Um, everybody that has been part of the OJ trial, every member of the Dream Team, and now OJ himself has gotten cancer. <laughs> Just put that out there. Shit. Yeah, everybody except for Barry Sheck. I think Barry Sheck, Barry Sheck, and um, uh, what's the, the judge, other guy? The judge. He did. He uh, didn't get Lancito. But, but I mean, you know, I'm talking about the defense. I'm talking about the oh, actual the defense. defense. Uh, Barry Sheck and Alan Dershowitz are still alive. But we're not going to talk about Alan Dershowitz because Alan Dershowitz represented Jeffrey Epstein too. So <laughs> it's like he doesn't have a track record of uh, of you know, not guilty parties. <laughs> by the by the way, by the way. Uh, I'm still a thousand percent convinced that uh, 
OJ did that shit. <laughs> okay, so so only only a maximum of of four people know what happened that night. Yeah, and three yeah. of them are fucking dead. All right, yeah. so yeah, two of them died that night actually. And yeah. uh, I really like I I have I have two things I have two I have two realms of thought on this. One, OJ did it, and <laughs> he got away with it. Fucking, you can't fault the guy for that. All right. Uh, you can, but <laughs> for two, he didn't do it. And he was a pariah for no fucking reason. By the way, by the way, I th- I think it's, I think, like, what bullshit is that, that when you know you're going to get arrested, the police politely call you and say, hey, we got to bring you in, so what what time should we stop by? Yeah, how's like, noon? Is noon like, okay? Like, can, you, can you be here by noon? Like, dude, okay, yeah, so if yeah, me or Jer, if yeah, me or Jer yeah, committed can, a fucking we, crime. If me or Jared committed a crime, they are arresting us on sight. All right. Yeah. They are bringing the fucking handcuffs. They are putting us in the back of the car by force if necessary. All right. OJ got a fucking presidential procession down the 405 in a fucking Bronco and then got to turn himself in without incident. Okay. We're going to put that the fuck out there. That is some that is some only famous people bullshit right there. All they right. Would- they would kick our fucking doors in, <laughs> and like it would wouldn't matter. Hey, uh, we're I'm a, I'm doing a birthday here for family. Can we push this back to five thirty? Fuck you! Get yeah. on the floor. On oh the my floor. god, I'm still waiting for it. I am still waiting for the ATF to kick in my fucking door for no goddamn reason. <laughs> We've so got to you- measure your shotgun barrels, like fucking. <laughs> I just, I can't, I can't understand it. Okay. So I really think, I really think his son did it. I think his son did it, you know, because his son, his son was actually uh, on record of threatening two people with knives and producing the knives like, and they're trying to say that it was a fucking pocket knife. No, there's absolutely no fucking way he did that shit with a pocket knife. Have you ever tried to decapitate somebody? It is not easy. I am, I am not speaking from experience, by the way. (laughs) <laughs> just putting it out there. I'm not that Arabic. Okay. Now I have watched that shit on live leak though with a proper fucking saw. It still took like 12 minutes and you hear them the entire time gasping for fucking air. Just <laughs> it's not like they're going down on somebody, <laughs> but fucking... that's, that, that's why I feel bad for what the fuck's his face. You know, the dude got his arm stuck and then, and then James Franco's like, let's do a movie. Oh, uh, uh 127 hours. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like all he had was a pocket knife, and he had to be like, yeah, he had to fucking, he had to fucking like saw it off with a pocket knife and fucking break the bone and shit. But yeah, no, Nicole Brown Simpson was damn near decapitated. All right, and you're telling me with that much fucking blood all over the fucking place, only a little bit got in the fucking like cloth interior of the Bronco. Really, really, you're telling me that. You're going to stand there and tell me that all of the blood that was at the fucking, uh, at, uh, what was it? it was it Rockingham? No, I don't, it I don't, I don't remember. It was Bundy. I think it was Bundy. What, one of them. All right. All the blood that was at Nicole Brown Simpson's fucking house, just all of it, all over the fucking place. Only a little bit got in the Bronco. I don't know. I just like, it's such a weird thing because fucking, uh, because like, it definitely seems like he he did that. Like it definitely fucking seems like he did that shit. But it, also it, there's but, but, mountains but, of evidence that he did. And that's the thing. Like everything. It's like they were going down a fucking checklist with the evidence, right? It's like we need DNA of all three people in both places. We need blood. We need uh shit in the Bronco. We need shit in his house. We need shit like we need fibers and hair and, and gloves and shit. But all of this evidence was discovered by Mark Furman. <laughs> Yeah, I was, <laughs> and I was that was the downfall. I was about to say, but then you have, but then, but then you go to the trial, and they're like, "Hey, you fuck with this shit," and the cops like, "I played the fifth. <laughs> I played the fifth. Did you plan evidence? Fuck it. We have tapes uh, of where you're using the N word profusely, like record numbers, like way more than Jerry uses it, and fucking." Way more than you use it, motherfucker. Like so many times. Like, fuck. Oh, my God. So many times. 
It's a, like he, that made me uncomfortable. I'm like, Jesus Christ, Mark, calm down. And then he fucking he's talking about beating blacks and planning evidence and fucking like how they doctored fucking shit to, to convict people. Like, are you fucking kidding me? This is the entire defense right here. <laughs> Mark Furman gave the defense their shit. <laughs> Yeah, the prosec the prosecution's just like motherfucker. God damn it! Anyway, yeah. and fucking. Fuck. Uh, and then of course, then of course, Chris Darden. He's like, hey, we should get him to try on the gloves. We need a glove moment. We need a <laughs> viral moment in this trial. We need to we need to create some viral moments ourselves because the defense is fucking kicking ass at that. We need to have him try on the gloves. And Marsha Clark was like, no. No, we don't need him trying the gloves. And and Dave was like, fuck it. We're going to do it. Fuck it. I'm Dave, and I know what's going on. Uh, Mr. Simpson, would you like to try on the gloves? And he's like, um, Johnny? And Johnny's like, do it. Do it in front of everyone. Have you seen those gloves? Have you seen your fucking NFL hands? Yeah. Have you seen his fucking hands? His hands aren't going to fit. I think it was Bob, Bob Shapiro. Bob Shapiro is the one that fucking, he's like, I don't think those gloves are going to fit. We need to get the defense. We need to have him try on the gloves. And it's like, no, no, no. We'll have the prosecution make him do it. That's going to be so much more debilitating to their case. <laughs> and they had him try on the gloves. And they didn't fit. They didn't fit. And everybody's oh. like, well, they were they were covered in blood and frozen and unfrozen and frozen and unfrozen. And I'm like, dude, fucking... The, the gloves are not going to shrink like that. The the fucking maker of Isotoner gloves is like, yeah, they're designed not to do that. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, have you, like, have you, like, Isotoners are fucking quality fucking gloves. Isotoner right? makes some fucking slick shit to this day. My mother yeah. has Isotoner slippers. And I was like, oh, look at him murdering slippers. <laughs> fucking. Oh, my God. But, yeah, like. Like the prosecution, the entire time during that trial is like, motherfucker! Every time, every God. time, and then F. Lee Bailey for no fucking reason at all, just getting up to the fucking podium in the courtroom and asking Mark Furman point blank if he's ever used the word. And dude, okay, I'm gonna let you know right now. All right, it doesn't matter if you've heard the N word before. It doesn't matter. It's still if you hear it. Without expecting it, it is going to stop your whole fucking day. Like if you hit, if somebody hits that R with that kind of force, yeah, yeah. that hard fucking R, just oh rrr. man, yeah, fucking, it's, dude, I swear to God, it stopped my fucking day. Like I was getting gas, I was getting gas at the beach, and somebody on a bike, some fucking schizo methed out motherfucker on a bike is just just riding down the fucking sidewalk, shouting the N-word. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> Dude, um, I and he turns up. He turns up fucking Beach Boulevard. Turns up Beach Boulevard, heading into the fucking ghetto. And I'm just like, oh, somebody's going to get murdered. <laughs> like, Dude, I got, one time, one time, I got called, huh. like, like my last season of fishing, I had this cart, like the the other crew member was this cartoon looking motherfucker. Now, when I was away at fishing, there, Tony, there, if I mean, I know it's hard to imagine, but there's not a lot of technology going on around yeah. you. So you know, I uh, I did a lot of fishing and I did a lot of reading, mostly reading. You know how to read? <laughs> well, this it's dude. Fucking weird. I this send you instructions in English on how to do shit, and you're like, I don't get it. Well, this fucking dude, oh, my God. Like, he would, because, like, I'd be in the crew quarters fucking reading, and he's like, you're never gone. You're never gone. I never get this place. I'm like, this is where we fucking live, dickweed. All right? <laughs> yeah. <It's... laughs> like, like, I have this or the fucking woods, all right? And it's much easier to fucking read in here. And he Without was, the mosquitoes. <laughs> and he was so furious. He's like, he's like, that's all you fucking do. You just read. Just read. I'm like, the fuck else is there to do? The right? fucking sons of bitches just out here reading all willy-nilly. <laughs> and like, and I swear to God, like every night though, we we'd watch a movie before we went to sleep. 
like because we had a generator and a tv and like a dvd player and he goes oh i've got saw i was and i was like oh shit put that shit in i was all excited i was like i was like i was like, I was like it's saw one right he goes it just says saw it's like fucking awesome he puts this dvd in it's my captain's family home videos and so i was like this is what and so i go back to the main menu and it's just like fucking clips of their fucking pictures and videos i'm like the fuck and so i go over to the dvd player i eject the dvd the goddamn thing said sale s-a-i-l sale i was like how fucking retarded are you and then one of the menus was OJ admitting he did it. <laughs> but yeah, I was like, and it, and in his defense, this guy didn't look like he was a big fucking reader. All right. Like, I still think, I still think the, the greatest thing to come out of the OJ trial was the Tim Meadows impression on Saturday Night Live, <laughs> where he's just like subtly dropping hints that he did it. That was fucking great. <laughs> Oh my God! So, Tony, I was listen. I was listening to a to a podcast recently, and they were talking about hunting wild game. And did you know that there are people who go to Africa to hunt giraffes? Yeah. Like who the fuck? Like like what kind of monster could shoot a goddamn giraffe? I still right? don't understand how giraffes are fucking real. Like. <laughs> Like how how the okay so so giraffes are real but unicorns aren't all right that's the that's the weirdest they, fucking that's the weirdest fucking thing in the world is like what's more believable right what's more believable a horse with a fucking horn well, or they, they have a the horse wing. with a forty foot fucking neck they they have the wings too though they no that's the, a that's that's a Pegasus that's a completely different animal <laughs> completely different mythical creature motherfucker. Oh fuck! I gotta end the live, guys. Why? I just, I just got a, I just got a warning for hate speech. <laughs> How? Because <laughs> I said retard. Oh yeah. <laughs> Goddamn uh, we'll... retards. But no, like, like whenever I've been hunting, like it's, it's a fucking sport. You know what I mean? Like you go out there, you stalk your prey. It's you. It's it's the animal or you, all right? One of you is not coming back alive. A you giraffe can kill you, motherfucker. I'm not saying it can't. I'm not saying it can't. But like like you gotta go out and find the fucking animal and shit. Like like there's days you don't like oh how was hunting? He didn't see Suck. shit. Suck. <laughs> the whole time. And now I'm covered in deer piss. <laughs> yeah. Like you go out to Africa to shoot a draft, like go outside there it is <laughs> like pretty like, easy where? to see <laughs> like it's right there it's right, right there. there how do you know the trees are in the way it hits over the tree yeah i can see its fucking head like like where's the fucking sport net god damn it right fucking and, shoot lions and shit motherfucker and kill like simba the, and they're so gentle like they're so fucking gentle they let children feed them and children are fucking horrible. They they should be hunted for sport. Yeah. Like I really I really wish I really wish you could you could hunt pedophiles like that. If that were a great thing, I mean honestly it wouldn't be that hard either because I mean they have to fucking put their address online. Like <laughs> it's not really hunting. Just camouflage up. Yeah. And like and, hide, and you hide. know and you know they can't have guns. <laughs> like fucking this this is like a fucking open book test at this point. Like, like you just camouflage up, hide in the bushes, <laughs> your hunter orange, and they're just opening their door. Yeah, fucking. All Bam! Right. Oh yeah. fuck, they're out there. <laughs> all right, it's time for us to get. It's time for us to bag us a Roy. <laughs> like fucking. Oh, I'm not insinuating that anybody named Roy is a is a child molester. By the way. I mean, statistically, you might be, but fucking, I, I, especially if you're Catholic. Tony, I I would get arrested for baiting. I would totally be on lock. 
<laughs> Pretending to be an 11 year old kid. Hey, go out there, Brandon. Get him to come out of the house. Like, do you want to come and play? Yes, I do. Yeah, take 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 this box of baby roots up there. <laughs> Oh my God! Oh, everybody, everybody that got that reference, I love you guys. I love you guys so much. Fucking a four brothers reference. We haven't made a four brothers reference on this podcast before. Man, hey, I need you to do me something. I'll give you twenty bucks and this whole box of Baby Ruth. (laughs) This little fat kid just walked up to his house. I'm raising money for 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 the baseball team. And he fucking takes the Baby Ruth and shuts the door. Like that guy deserved to die. <laughs> He's stealing from kids. Fucking asshole. All right, I'm bringing him out. Yeah, and he shot. I've got Terrence him. Howard. And he shot Terrence Howard. All right, that's two strikes, motherfucker. <laughs> and he cheated at pool. I'm sure of it. <laughs> it's three. It's three strikes. That fucker deserved to die. Your stick is crooked. <laughs> Been working for me. <laughs> and then it's just Terrence fucking just smacks him with the stick. Like, with Terrence Howard is so underrated as an actor. I love his movies. Dude, I never realized it till a few years ago. I, like I was watching Mr. Holland's Mr. Holland's Opus, and I was like, "Holy shit, it's fucking Terrence Howard!" I was like, "Look how fucking young he is." Mr. Holland's Opus was one of those fucking, it, that was one of those weird ass movies like Lorenzo's Oil. That's like, all right, we watched it once. We don't have to watch it again. Oh, I love Mr. Holland's Opus. I'll tell, I'll tell you what I don't need to watch again. But it, like, it was incredible and it's a great fucking movie. And if you haven't seen it, you should. But it, it really makes you uncomfortable a lot of the time. Are you talking about uh, Old Boy? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, the a world. Serbian acor- film. The world according to Garp. Uh, I still I still think a Serbian film is is up there on that list or irreversible with the fucking like beginning with the 15 minute rape scene like Jesus Christ we don't need to watch and it's French like fucking there's so many reasons not to watch this movie oh let's see oh by the way Tony you know what I've been doing a lot lately jacking off Aside from that, aside from that, <laughs> uh, I love I love how that's just a well yeah, but also, <laughs> I mean, I mean that hasn't stopped since I was like eleven, right? I I haven't I haven't put down my dick since I discovered I could play with it. Like I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> like no cap, no cap, no. Uh, I been... did you just fucking say no cap? Are you using that goddamn? fucking uh gen z bullshit on this podcast you son of a bitch are you really fucking out there trying to fucking be hip just oh this is bussing this podcast oh my god for real for real but not the whole words just fr fr fucking oh my god i'm so pissed off that i know exactly what you mean too like i'm so pissed (laughs) off that i know this like why do i have this information in my fucking head dude one time i was at the laugh factory you this, you can say we're adults. You can say no bullshit no, without dude. repercussion. All right, dude. One time I was at the Laugh Factory and this dude just fucking murdered it on stage. Oh my god, he was so fucking funny. And so I go outside to hang no out. No cap, my, Jer. I go outside to hang out with my friend, and he's hanging out with this dude. And I go, oh, bro, that set was so fire. And then as soon as it left my lips, I was like, huh, huh, Yeah, Yeah, you sound like a douchebag right now. (laughs) I was like, I was like, fuck you, me. I got reprimanded by a kid for using the term lit. (laughs) And, And they were like, you're too old to use that. I'm like, first of all, we came up with that word, motherfucker. There was a band called that in the 90s. (laughs) <laughs> but no no tony i'll tell you what i've been doing a lot lately i've been on a real fucking uh beethoven kick lately beethoven like, like i've been i've been i've been listening i've been listening to a lot of fucking beethoven and it got it got me thinking like what, what are you that you you've been listening to a lot of beethoven <laughs> it's like are you watching a clockwork orange <laughs> what are you doing no 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 just, <laughs> it's like, just, just like a whole fucking it, movie just like when I'm fucking driving around and shit. And like a lot of, like a lot, like when you ask a lot of people 
like, hey, you like classical music? They're like, ah, like a lot of them will be like, oh, no, I don't listen to that. And here's but here's the thing. When people when somebody says, oh, I'd much rather listen to this rather than classical music, like just assume I think you're the biggest fucking moron on the face of the earth. I got a question for you. What? Have you heard Beethoven's Ninth? Oh my God, it's so like I like I have so much I want to say about that. Just know that he hasn't. <laughs> like, Just, like, <laughs> <laughs> that's like that's like my fucking that's like my joke about uh, T Rexes. It's like why can't the T Rex clap his hands? Because the arms are too small. No, no it's because they're fucking dead. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but like. When you tell me, oh, I'd much rather listen to fucking rock and roll, man, or I'd much rather listen to heavy metal or fucking soft rock or something. I'm like, you're the biggest fucking like your only answer. If if you say, no, I don't like classical music, like it should be because you don't like fucking music. And th- period, period. If you tell me you'd rather listen to this than classical music, you're a fucking moron. Change my mind. I'm going to let you know right now. I'm going to let you know right now. If you say you don't like classical music and you immediately go to pop country, I'm going to slap the shit out of you. Because honestly, nobody would rather listen to pop country. Only those only those fucking, only those goddamn pavement princess driving, fucking ironic Daisy Duke wearing bitches want to listen to that shit. And I swear to God, I swear to God, I cannot stand the song before he cheats. I cannot stand that fucking <laughs> song. I want to punch everybody for making me listen to that song. Every person, every drunk ass bimbo that comes to karaoke wants to sing that fucking song. And honestly, you're just glorifying a dumbass at that point because that bitch is leaving fucking evidence everywhere. All right. <laughs> that fucking song doesn't even make sense. Like I, I carved my name into his leather seats. I'm like, okay, you're just telling them where to fucking come for to, to pick up the felon at that point. You <laughs> motherfucker. All right. You have but, caused like I've listened to that fucking chorus and I'm just like, do you have any idea how many fucking felonies that is? Like, but Tony, Tony, tell me, tell me if I'm wrong because you're a fucking musician. Like pretty much pop, country, rock and roll, metal, fucking, fucking like rap. It all fucking stems like its roots are vetted where? In classical music. Yeah, exactly. So if you tell me I'd rather listen to this than that, you're a fucking moron. You are. I mean, honestly, you're... like the biggest the biggest thing with me is the fact that like when when somebody when somebody shits on classical music, like I, personally, I have to be in a mood to want to listen to it. Like, yeah, it's yeah, not something too. I listen to all the fucking time, you know. Like, no, I've I've just been on one lately. Like, like yeah. I've just like yeah, fucking, I've just been I'm, in the mood lately. Like, I I love it. I love I love fucking uh like symphonic music. I love it. It's it's fucking great. And yeah. some of it is actually really banger. Like, oh my god, you you brought up number nine, like Symphony Number no. Nine. Oh my god, like it goes from happy, good life to fucking worry to utter doom to relief. It like it takes you through so much fucking emotion. Like, point me to a fucking current song that can do that can do what Symphony Number no. Nine does. The Wall. I mean, (laughs) the wall fucking. Okay. I'm going to say this on the fucking podcast. I've said it on live. Pink Floyd's the wall is one song. All right. It's one song. That's it. It's one song that the whole division of shit. That's just movements at that point. Motherfucker. Okay. It's one song. It never stops. I'm not, I'm not saying the songs don't exist, Tony. I'm just saying they're far and fucking few in between. Few and far between. Whatever. God Fuck damn it anyway. You learn English, bitch. Like <laughs> that was English. That was English. It was poor English. I just I just mixed the fucking saying up, but that was not improper English. Just because I said the saying backwards does not mean that was fucking improper English. It was so, very improper. So you can go fuck yourself. God damn it. Oh no. <laughs> you dumb bastard. <laughs> Roll credits. <laughs> and that's why I have a lid on my drinks. <laughs> that and my cat is a whiskey thief. Oh, my God. It's whiskey, too. God damn it. 
my cat is a fucking whiskey thief. If I if I actually put it in a glass that doesn't have a top on it, she will stick her whole fucking face in there and fucking. <laughs> and all you'll hear is fucking. <laughs> of course, your goddamn cat's an alcoholic. Dude, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I walked out. I walked out. I, like I, I went to the bathroom. I went to the fucking bathroom, and I came back, and Trixie's whole fucking face is in my goddamn whiskey and coke. Every like, I'm just sitting there watching her drinking my Jack and Coke, and I'm like, I'm like, dude, I'm so fucking pissed off, but I'm also really proud of her at that point. I'm like, at least she has good taste. Like, like, <laughs> like my cat is getting her black tooth grin on. That's fucking great. But yes, anyways, my point being, fucking classical music is is amazing. Symphony Number no. 9 does what not a lot of songs have fucking done. I think I think honestly, uh one of my favorite one of my favorite songs is uh is uh number 5. Bimbo fi- num- the, Bimbo the, number 5? The the fifth mumbo. <laughs> fucking <laughs> Did did you did you ever listen to the Clinton's Bimbo number no. 5? Yes. <laughs> the, the fifth, I cannot the fifth I cannot, mambo. I, cannot, I okay, so hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. We're we're gonna address something. We're gonna address something here. All right. Everybody knows the song Mambo number no. five. Everybody knows it. But Mambo number no. five, it really it really brings up something that that nobody notices. Where are the previous four mambos? The existence of Mambo number five necessitates one, two, three, and four. Where the fuck are those, Lou Bega, motherfucker? <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. But like Mambo number five was great, but this but the fucking parodies are precious. Like Bimbo number five. Oh yeah. my god. Fucking and here here's the thing, I cannot find that song. I've been looking. I've been fucking looking. But I cannot find that song to save my life. That's kind of like that's kind of like uh this the song Man Boobs, the the fucking parody of uh she fucking hates me. I haven't heard that one. Yeah, I, I think it was I think it was honestly just Planet Radio that did it, <laughs> but it was so <laughs> fucking hilarious. A little oh. bit of Monica in my life. Oh man, you should just let him sing that. By the way, I fucking, know. you are not a singer, sir. <laughs> I'm aware of this motherfucker. Like you are a fucking atro- like like hearing hearing your voice singing makes my dick soft. All right, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Th- this is why this is my favorite time of week, right? Because <laughs> <laughs> I just like th- wildly throw insults at you the entire time. <laughs> I don't know. Like we talk about wild fucking shit. I still think I still think the greatest thing is is uh they, they asked me like what our podcast is about. Like anytime somebody finds it for the first time, they're like, What is the podcast about? And I'm basically dude, it's a phone call with production value. That's all it is. We oh, don't that- have any set script. We don't have anything that we're gonna talk about. We don't have any meaningful topics. We're just fucking shooting the shit, basically. Which reminds me, which reminds me, as as you should, if you're a regular fucking watcher, as you should know, we're recording the first live fucking podcast in August. But we've added a guest. And oh, it's good. Oh, it's good. I still think we should get that fucking Brit. The the Brit would be great. The Brit would be fucking great. But you have to admit, this guest is going to be something special. Yep, we're getting OJ Simpson, guys. <laughs> We're going to talk to him through a fucking Ouija board. Hey, hey, it, it, we want you on the podcast. <laughs> Is the spirit of OJ Simpson with us? It just leans over to yes. <laughs> All right, OJ. The people want to know. Fuck double jeopardy. They can't prosecute you now. <laughs> Did you do it? F U C K Y Pretty much, yeah. 
Oh man. Fuck no no. Like OJ. Did you do it? T A L K T O J Oh uh, god damn it. J- talk to Johnny, really? <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Is the spirit of Johnny Cochran with us? No, 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 no. Did you do it? M A Y B E M A Y B E N. Are you really quoting fucking The Departed right now, motherfucker? Uh, maybe maybe not maybe go fuck yourself yourself. (laughs) (laughs) oh my god how's your mother good (laughs) she died from fucking my father (laughs) (laughs) say hey to your mother for me fucking oh my god i think i think the i think the greatest one the greatest one would be him spelling out if the glove didn't fit you must you must have quit oh the chewbacca defense (laughs) chewbacca defense (laughs) Oh man, oh, I love I love the fact that I love the fact that that episode of South Park is actually taught in law schools now. <laughs> in the Chewbacca defense, I I didn't see that fucking episode of South Park. It was funny as shit. I haven't watched South Park since like seventh grade, eighth grade, something like that. I fucking love South Park. South Park is honestly like hands down my favorite cartoon. <laughs> oh 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 oh. Speaking of cartoons, did you hear? Have you heard the good news, Tony? No, get off my porch. We are getting. It, it's just announced. I won't. I won't feel good about it until it's in production. But it was just announced. We are getting the last Ronin live action R fucking movie. Nice. I'm just like, oh yeah. Jagging oh, off, yeah. just jagging off. I mean, this is way better than any woman could ever be. We're also getting Jackass Five. Are we? Yeah, Johnny Knoxville has announced Jackass Five. I highly doubt Bam Margera will be there. I don't know. I don't know. Bam's getting clean for like the seventh time. Yeah, but him and him and Bam had a fucking falling out though. Yeah. Oh man, dude, Jackass Five would be. I mean, d- d- Jackass in general is just is just fucking hilarious. And always, I'll always remember. I'll always remember the fucking like wave of people that were sending in them doing dumb shit. <laughs> dude, I'll I'll never forget going to the first movie in theaters because my ex uncle took me because it was it was like right. He divorced. Did you break my up aunt. with him? Like what the fuck happened? <laughs> no, no, no. Him and my aunt got divorced. So <laughs> he wasn't real good to her, but, um, okay. but he, he, he took me to it. Cause it was like right after my fucking, my liver surgery. And cause, and like, it was, it was Halloween night and like, I, and like, I couldn't go party. I couldn't go. F- I'm like, I was too old to be fucking trick or treating and shit. So generally trick or treat. I still think that we should we should normalize this. We should actually like fucking for the adults that have to take their kids trick or treating. We should give out little fucking like fucking the the single shots. <laughs> we should normalize that shit. Dude, dude, a few years ago, my fucking buddy had a Christmas party on Halloween and like and I went then over I, there. Then there I am getting drunk, handing them out to kids. <laughs> Here, here's the Jaeger. <laughs> and I went to his house like a few days after, and he just had like this little basket thing full of those. And I was like, I was like, what the fuck did you give to the trick or treaters? I'm gonna let you know right now. Fucking, if you leave out a bowl of candy, that shit's gonna be gone. Oh yeah, yeah. I remember, I remember watching my buddy steal fucking candy from a younger kid, and it was actually at that point that I decided. I'm never doing this again because, like, I felt awful. I gave the kid my candy. And so every year after I joined football, every year after that, I'd gather some of the football players 
and we'd go like patrol the fucking neighborhoods like my uncle used to make sure our fucking kids weren't getting their fucking candy stolen fucking bag snatchers yeah 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 i mean first of all there's nothing there's nothing more exhilarating than coming home with your kid after they've been trick or treating laying out all their candy on the floor and picking through it and getting your cut <laughs> the tax the tax uh, this this fuck looks it, quite. We all this, we all turn into fuck. Every parent turns into fucking Soviet Russia right then. <laughs> you our candy. <laughs> like this looks questionable. You can't have this. So me and me and the old lady have been watching um uh Chernobyl the the miniseries on HBO, and the, I, it. I asked her. I was like I was like how much do you know about Chernobyl? And she goes she goes not much. Like you know she basically you know she knows the fucking the broad strokes. And um, broad, stro- I, I, broad strokes, by the way, it's a it's a great name for a hand job. But not fucking, the one I got. Yeah, not the one you got. That was uh, that was miserable strokes. <laughs> mediocre strokes. Oh my god, that was terrible. That was, that was, that was still that was, still the still the saddest hand job I've ever bared witness. Like <laughs> that was that was a terrible hand job. I'm just I'm just letting you know. That that hand job haunts his fucking dream. That hand job haunts my dreams. Like that's that's why you didn't have to deal with her in in our fucking room. Dude, I swear haunt. to God, if it if it if it were like okay, if I were on trial and I got sentenced to death, and I could either take a firing squad or that hand job. And as soon as I was finished, I could leave, by the way. Like, no harm, no foul. I'm taking the bullet. All right, there's no fucking, <laughs> fucking, <laughs> oh, my God. If I was stuck in a room with Adolf Hitler, Osama bin Laden, and that hand job, given a revolver with two bullets, I'd shoot that hand job twice. Fucking shit, man. <laughs> it was wild. It was just fucking it was all over the place and it was not subtle. Like I'm, I, I've talked about this on the podcast so many fucking times. We've talked about this on the podcast yeah. so many times and it's still, still to this day makes no sense of how you could be that bad at penis. <laughs> <laughs> like surely you've seen it done before. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty basic motion up and right? down, up and down. Yeah, fucking in and out, just fucking like but, just but but that's okay. Why. So hold on a minute, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. So so there, there's a joke, there's a joke about a hand job that always makes me laugh, and and I I feel like I should share it with you guys. Um, so there's this guy, right? There's this guy, and he takes this chick upstairs, and things are getting a little fucking hot and heavy, right? And he's like, hey, you know, how about sex? And he pulls out a rubber, and she goes, no, absolutely not. He goes, well, how about a blow job? Really? He's trying to upsell it at that point, motherfucker. <laughs> Dude, if sex is out of the question, a blowjob is way out of the fucking question. All right, that's all I'm fucking saying, right? And yeah. he was like, he's, he was like, okay, well, how about a hand job, right? Which is like a consolation prize in and of itself. Yeah, yeah. Right. There's only one. There's only one correct way, ladies, to to give a hand job, and that is put it in your fucking mouth. Now, like, like, like that's what I got when I was like in elementary school. All right. So. Now- <laughs> so a hand job, right? She goes, well, I've never given one. I'm not sure how to do it. He goes, well, pretend you're getting a ketchup out of a ketchup bottle. But he doesn't do the motion. He just fucking says it. So she grabs his dick and just goes. That <laughs> 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 joke always makes me laugh. I don't know why. Oh, did you did you listen to my voicemail last night? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> this. You're never around when I need you. Oh, and then I um, then I ignored the fuck out of it. Yes, you did. <laughs> did did you open the fucking link that Salty sent you? Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, he got me too. Dick. <laughs> Dude, I fucking sent a it back. A lot of it. A lot of it. <laughs> yeah, I sent it back. Motherfucker. <laughs> I just... Oh my god. Dude, I was more pissed off about that than than fucking losing the game. <laughs> Which all of you just did. Oh fuck! I was I was like, what game was on last night? I was like, it was a baseball game. I don't. No. 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 The game. 
<laughs> I was like, I don't pay attention to Florida sports teams. Fuck you. Unless it's Florida, Georgia. <laughs> Go dogs. <laughs> Go dogs. <laughs> oh man. I love I love how that like became like a fucking like meme in and of itself. That became a catchphrase. And it was just some off fuck like that proves to me that you never know what part of your videos are going to be the funniest and that people are going to resonate with because the go dogs thing was literally just a one-off joke in the video. That was it. It was me making fun of people from Georgia. And it started right here. It, it just rolled down. No, it didn't start here. Yes, it did. Yeah. Well, uh, it started on a phone call and then no, I was like, no, 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 it's, it started. No, it's, no, because cause I told you, I said, you should include that in your fucking video. And you're like, you know what? I think I will. It, start, it started in that video, though. That's that's where it really started. So, like, it just fucking tumbled <laughs> after that. And everybody was just like, oh, my God, let's fucking say that every time. People fucking scream that at me. <laughs> now, random ass people that run into me, they're like, hey, it's King fucking story time. Go dogs. I'm like, God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> Why is that my fucking catchphrase now? This is bullshit. Oh my god. It's it, like it's, the fucking it's like the it's like the interludes for fucking story time. Like people will just come into my fucking live and go, "Well, fucking so fucking it's just fucking great." Like out of nowhere. The the fucking podcast. I took the name from Tony going, "Shut the fuck up, Denmark." Yeah. It's like, fucking just out of nowhere <laughs> like even jer is guilty of it shut the fuck up denmark i have that on a glass <laughs> i have like, a pint uh, glass I, with my picture on it that says shut the fuck up denmark on the back of it and everybody's like you should fucking sell those in the store i was like fucking fine oh my god i was thinking of my tone like i looked over at my desk and i saw my tony shot glass i was like oh Memories. Me just drunkenly distributing fucking Jack fire shot glasses. <laughs> like not even able to talk at that point. Just like I knew what you were conveying, but you were yeah, just like, yeah. you were like, I was like, I get it. I understand. Like it was just a smile and a handoff. I was like, I know what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> fucking. I wasn't, even, I wasn't capable of speech at that point because I was drunk as shit. You you hush over there. You hush. All right. <laughs> fucking dude, we 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 were we were uh we were all tore up that fucking weekend. Oh my god. We had I wonder... so many videos planned that, that didn't get done just because we started <laughs> drinking at like eleven thirty in the morning. Like everybody here? All right, drink. <laughs> fucking beer pong in the pool. <laughs> that which would fucking atrocious never again never again once was enough oh that was ridiculous and i won though i won that's another reason i'll never do it again because i that's because you yelled the n-word at the top of your fucking lungs <laughs> i don't know what you're talking about tony i would never do something like that i still think the greatest part is the fact that rip booked the fucking airbnb like our first meeting and he got such a horrible fucking rating and jer got a fucking five-star review <laughs> And we damn near tore that fucking place apart. Like <laughs> she, she was like, she was like, Jer and his friends are welcome back anytime they wish. I was like, fucking really? We brought in a <laughs> fucking keg first day. <laughs> like cover up that camera. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We brought Don't. in a fucking keg right past her fucking Mercedes. <laughs> And fucking, oh my God, we fucking, we, we peed in the pool. I fucked on Jer's pillow. Fucking. You, I still don't know if that's true. It is. Cause, cause fucking, uh, what, what the fuck's his face said you guys did it, but you guys are like, oh no, we absolutely did. So I'm like, what really happened? Oh, we banged out a quickie. All right. So fucking, uh, so th there's actually a funny story behind that too. So my brother, my brother was sitting there yeah, and told this story on the podcast. It was still funny. It was still funny. Like for anybody that forgot it, you're going to hear it again. Fucking my brother was sitting in a chair and he had the perfect like bird's eye view to Jer's room. 
Reference and, to episode four. And he was like, he was like, he was like, well, I hope they close those fucking blinds. I hope they realize I'm I'm sitting here and I can see everything. I really don't want to see my brother's wangus. Like fucking again. Like <laughs> Oh my God. I really don't want to see my brother plow his fucking fiance. <laughs> I'm, by the way, I'm so happy you moved the wedding to next year. Because, like, that is just, just going to make it so much fucking easier. Yeah, it's going to be, it's, it's going to be like, well, I mean, we had to move the wedding because fucking I'm broke. Because <laughs> because not enough of you motherfuckers are subscribing to Patreon. Which is why I'm trying to do fucking Twitch. So, all right, all right. here Here's the fucking question. Here's the fucking question. How many more fucking subscribers do you need to get so, so you can not have a fucking job? I think the magic number was 200. Like 200 solid subscribers. Like they're not going to cancel. How many do you have now? 69. Let's fucking get them there. Yeah. All right. Fucking Let's, if we get if we get like 200 subscribers on the $20 tier, then I will be making quite a bit of money per month and so, I will not have to work anymore. So at the, so at the end of this episode, I'm, I finally come up with a fucking giveaway idea and we're going to, we're going to talk about that. And so you guys will hear. And so, and let's, let's push this shit to get Tony there. So we, uh, if, if Tony gets to quit his day job, I will force Tony into doing this twice a week. That's a good point. That's a that's a good idea. So hold on. It, so yeah, the magic number I think is fucking two hundred subscribers. Now five hundred is the goal because five hundred would bring me to like almost ten grand a month, and that would be that would I would be able to live very comfortably on that. And yeah. um, I mean, literally, I could pay off all my fucking debts in a matter of like six months. Fucking now I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. If we get to 500 subscribers, mm -hmm. if we get to 500 subscribers, I'm going to tell you this right here on the podcast. You're going to hear it here first. If I get to 500 subscribers on my Patreon monthly, I'll give away a guitar. Oh, I will get, I will give away a guitar that I play on the Patreon. Well, are you going to sign that shit? Yeah. I will sign it. I'll sticker it. I'll do the whole fucking nine. You gonna? Are you gonna lick it? You gonna lick it? Five hundred subscribers. I'll put it on my fucking balls. Oh, <laughs> uh, you can smell my nuts every time you play a solo. So, anyways, anyways, moving on with the podcast, the podcast portion of the fucking podcast. Before we get into the fucking giveaways, so Tony, uh, I was driving like right over here. Like just right over here the other day. I like and how I, emotions and gives me the vaguest fucking description. And like, like I have any frame of reference for where the fuck there is. To the west. To the west of me. Still so don't like the, fucking have any frame of reference for what the fuck is west of you. All I know is California. That's it. Fucking <laughs> California and fucking Washington are west of you. They're also east of you, interestingly enough. <laughs> and if you don't anyway. get that joke... Look at a globe, you dumb bastards. All right, shut the fuck up and just fucking listen. And so I noticed that the lake here in town thawed out because it's like right next to my house. And it just made me think that like not like la not last year, but the year before. Fucking Lake, lake Narnia thawed? <laughs> it's called Lake Elmo. Like, it's not any spelled, better. Not spelled, any better. spelled like the fucking Muppet. It's not any better. But uh like anyway. the like the fire. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so many people didn't get that joke either. Anyways, anyways, like they fucking they drained the lake. Like they were like they were like, we're gonna fix the lake. All right, but but, but we have to drain it. They took like for a winter, they took our fucking lake away. And it really gave me some Grinch vibes. They're like there's something wrong with the lake. We're going to drain it now. We're going to fix it. Then we'll fill it back up. But I was I'm not. I'm still wondering what the fuck. How does the lake break? 
I don't, I don't Explain, remember. Make it make sense. I don't remember what the fuck was going on. Like, I, I, I will get the information. I will get the information, and we will talk about it next week. But <laughs> fucking lake break. The, the lake's broken. It's out of service. But they were like, you can't go fucking jet skiing. Lake's, <laughs> lake's out of order. They're like, the lake's broken. We're going to drain it now. But next summer, when it gets hot, we'll fill it back up. But like, and so it was like real Grinch vibes. But I wasn't counting on their hearts to grow four sizes because it's the city. Like, I was expecting the city to go, oh, well, we're not filling that shit back up because Fuck of some, that, co- because, uh, some zoning shit that we came up with, strangely enough. Mm-hmm. Bureaucracy is finest. <laughs> Amazingly enough, though, they did fucking refill the lake. It's a it's a lake again. Apparently, it's fixed. And, still, uh, I'm still hung up on how the fuck do you break a lake? <laughs> oh, oh we, we can't go swimming at the beach. Why? Beach is broken. It's 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 broken and it's 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 not yeah. there. Oh, dude, let me tell you something. If, if the fucking ocean pieces out, run. <laughs> Get the fuck out of there. Get to the high ground, motherfucker. Think like Obi-Wan. Like, fucking. Oh, my God. I th- I still think it's amazing that Kevin Smith for years has been like, don't go in the ocean. Fuck the ocean. No, you don't go in there. And then he hosted a fucking cruise. Yeah, don't go in the ocean. That's, that's a bad idea. Like I've said before, like I've said before, fucking dude, I don't go in the ocean. I don't like if I, if I were dropped off in the ocean and I had to swim to survive, I could do it. But recreationally, no, you can go fuck yourself. I'll stick to the pool. There's no sharks in the pool. Now I did, I did do something, uh, fairly, fairly funny with a pool. Um, I got a little floaty, like a little uh, fucking, I, a little... I, was, I was about to say you attacked me and we're like, save your life. Yeah. So I fucking, I, uh, I fucking, I put a little floaty in the pool with a caution wet floor sign on it <laughs> and, and just drifted it out in the middle of the fucking pool. <laughs> and nobody got it. Uh, I, th- I was like, that's such a waste. <laughs> that's such a waste of a good joke. Oh my God. By the way, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to take you guys to the best Tex-Mex you'll ever have. All right. I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to fucking insult mexican food by saying oh i'm gonna take you guys out for mexican no it's it's it like it's above taco bell which you know isn't hard to do but still like no, when I people mean, t- taco bell isn't food though that's the thing taco bell is just ecstasy for your face <laughs> easy chris easy <laughs> <laughs> taco bell is fucking amazing and it uh, used to be it used to be fucking it used to be more amazing because the prices were reasonable it's it's not fucking better than fucking Taco John's. Six dollars for a gordita crunch, you motherfuckers. <laughs> like, I mean, I was just there like a couple weeks ago, and I spent like six bucks, and I actually got like a good amount of food. I'm gonna let you know right now. I'll let you know right now. I uh, I had an I had an advertisement that uh that came out, and it pissed me off. It, it it pissed me off almost as much as it does like when I watch Die Hard and see the gas prices, like or maximum overdrive and I see the gas prices. So this this advertisement was was about the time that the five layer burrito came out, which <laughs> okay, it's not that long ago. It's not that long ago. It seems like a simpler. T- it seems like a lifetime ago that the five layer burrito came out, but it was it was about a decade maybe. And when it came out, the five-layer burrito gets so close right now. That's for Jordan, by the way. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> yeah. When the five-layer burrito came out, it was 89 cents. 89 what? cents. It used to be on the fucking cravings menu. It was a dollar. It was 89 cents? It was Fuck 89 you. cents. Fuck 89 you. fucking cent. Look it, it up 80. now. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. It was 89 cents when it came out. Now. How much, how much is it now? How much? 480. 
How do you go from 89 cents to 480? How? It is so fucking expensive now. Compared to 89 cents? Fucking right it is. That dude, tacos used to be 79 cents. Remember that shit? I remember that shit. Single tacos. Uh, now they're single. over two bucks. By the way, by the Bro, way. Taco. A lot of a lot of people, a lot of people are gonna fucking crucify me for this, but I'm gonna stand by this. Like when I'm at one of these places, like like if I'm at a taco truck, I want it the way it's supposed to be. But if I'm at some fast food place, hard shell over soft. Hard shell over soft every time. I'll agree with that. I will agree with that. Taco Bell's hard shells are actually pretty badass. Well, wait till now. We have, now, hold wait. on a minute. Hold on a minute. It depends. Because hard shell over soft if it's Taco Bell, soft shell over hard shell if it's Red Burrito. If if I'm if I'm at a taco truck, it it fucking like like I want it I want it the way Mexico intended it to be. You know and I mean? again, like the biggest, the biggest problem that I have with, uh, fucking like people bitching about fucking food, like oh, fucking Panda Express is a real Chinese food. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's owned by Chinese people. Is it? The, yeah. It's actually owned by Chinese people. Now fucking, uh, Panda Express, they're like, oh, well, you know, it's just commercial Chinese food. Yeah. It's cause they have good ingredients now. Have you ever tasted like hole in the wall ass Chinese food? Yeah. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's absolute shit. Yeah, yeah. Panda I mean, Express that's... is good every fucking time. It doesn't matter where you go, what Panda Express you go to. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit here and say it's good, but I will say it gets the job done. It it's is sustainable. Like, like, it is, like, it is, like, it is, it is like real it, Chinese food because you eat it and you're hungry again in 35 minutes. I don't know, I don't know what kind of sorcery, fucking those chinks are doing, but. Fucking, I can eat a full fucking meal and be absolutely starving 35 minutes later. Mm. Oh, my God. Oh, by the way, I talked to Andy earlier. Speaking of chinks. The, <laughs> <laughs> the STFU's favorite guest. <laughs> the only episode oh, to ever get banned. <laughs> yeah, are you ever going to repost that shit? Uh, eventually. Eventually, it's been like a year, motherfucker. Fuck yourself. <laughs> Anyways, but I was like, I was like, hey, you should look into getting one of those U-Haul fucking deals. Like, like I, still, I did live. I I, I he, still think one of the funniest fucking parts of that is like he he texted us in a group text. He's like, who's picking up Andy from Amarillo? Spelling Amarillo completely wrong, by the way. And fuck. he's like, who's picking up Andy from Amarillo? I'm like, tell that chink to rent a car like the rest of us. <laughs> All right. God damn it. Anyway, I'm not driving from Guyman to Amarillo to pick his ass up. Like if well, I was driving, if, if I was driving from like my house to the airport in Jacksonville to pick him up, fine. Absolutely fine. But I am not driving two hours through different states to pick his ass up. That is no fucking way that's happening. Well, I talked to him and he's he was like, "Oh no, I'm renting a car for sure." I was like, "Oh, yeah. okay." Yeah. He he's like he's like, "Just make the reservation for me." I was like, "Yeah, all right, yeah, fair enough." Yeah, I was like, "You're you paying go. though, right?" He was like, "Yeah, I'll pay." I was like, "All right, cool." Uh, I think it's time to wrap, man. I think it's time to wrap. Uh, is there anything else I want? Oh, oh, I am excited. I am excited, Tony. Before we wrap, I'm excited. Because it's almost the best season. It's almost, it's fucking almost summer. I we talked summer. about this last week, and I fucking told you that summer can go fuck itself. Fuck you. All right, you do all the good shit in summer. All right, you camp, you go water skiing if that's your fucking thing, and my if you have a lake. My balls stick to my leg. Fucking, I sweat my ass off. I walk outside and Move come back with a fucking yeast of infection. Florida, motherfucker. Fucking please, like heat. Please, heat please. is the, okay. So so actually, dude, this is this is absolutely fucking. This is absolutely true, and it's one of my favorite John Caparulo things. He's like, it's deceptive. It's deceptive in Florida because you like you look out the window and you're like, oh, I could walk to fucking Burger King. I can't fucking walk to Burger King. Come back with a whopper and a fucking yeast infection. <laughs> I call my mom. I don't feel so fresh. <laughs> I, 
That's a hundred percent true. The humidity in Florida is just ridiculous. Then leave fucking Florida. It's not better anywhere else. Oh my I'm going to have to move to a new fucking state and, and learn their fucking gun laws. Like I love Florida cause we don't have any like, <laughs> Oh my God. That reminds me like I've been, I cannot find this fucking Dave Chappelle joke to save my life. And it's like by far my favorite Dave Chappelle joke. He's talking about living in DC, working for Domino's and how he'd have to break into the apartment and be like, Domino's motherfucker, put the money on the floor. <laughs> Here's your oh pizza. Have a nice night. Thanks for using Domino's. Hey, what, don't what move. What special was that? I can't. I I know the joke, but I can't remember what special it was on. I don't I don't know, but I cannot find it. I'm like, God damn it. You I can't find anything. Fucking- you suck at research projects. <laughs> Everything Jer wants to find, he just fucking can't. Fuck you. It's like, right, before, it's like Jer, it's like Jer trying to find his pee-pee. All right, before we wrap, Tony. All right, so every so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have a fucking sharing contest. All right, but you have to share the fucking episode. You can't share one of the shorts, no matter what platform. By the way, make sure you're following STFU podcast, all one word, on Facebook now. But uh, and Instagram. You share, and fucking uh and TikTok. And yeah. Well it's it's different names <laughs> like kinda everywhere, but but that's not my fault. That's not my fault. That is a hundred percent your fault. You you are the fucking you are the goddamn fucking short paterfamilias, motherfucker. Like this is your deal. I knew you were gonna say that. I knew you were gonna say that. This is your goddamn deal, man. But anyways, you have to share this fucking YouTube link, this goddamn YouTube link. And in next month, next month, we're, we're going to announce a winner. Now, here's what you do. You share the link you, and you and then you type in the comments done. All right. And Tony can see if you're fucking sharing the shit. So don't just type done because if the math doesn't work out, we're not going to fucking do it. Right, Tony? I need to see this shit everywhere. Yeah. So you share this and you will get a custom before me and Tony, you will get a custom fit to your fucking feet pair of STFU podcast shoes with the STFU logo, a pair of Vans. I don't even have those. I don't either. Motherfucker. Bullshit. (laughs) I don't even have those motherfucker. I don't even have those, and I'm one half of this goddamn podcast. The funnier half, I might add. And Kevin Smith agrees. Kevin Smith's never seen the fucking podcast. Doesn't he, matter. Doesn't that, matter. He, we said it in front of him, and he laughed his fucking ass off. He didn't laugh that hard. You go fuck yourself. Laugh pretty goddamn hard. But anyways, anyways, so make sure you're you fucking you. It is not hard. It's not hard to fucking share this shit. It's not. Right? It's three it's clicks. A, it's a it's a goddamn button. It's a fucking button. They made it. They they have they have shareable links on Pornhub. <laughs> well, who's that for, by the way? Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna put this out. I've never been watching porn and thought to myself, you know who would really enjoy this video of this chick getting fucking railed? My friends and, friends family, and family on family. Facebook. Like, <laughs> <laughs> my audience on Facebook would enjoy the absolute fuck. You know who'd you know who'd like this fucking mom? Mom yeah. would really enjoy this. Mom would love to see me and Khalifa get fucking railed, just fucking. <laughs> uh, so and- somebody, by the way, somebody on Pornhub actually shared this link, and, and I love I love the fact that they did this. They actually um, fucking <laughs> they shared the uh, presidential inauguration. <laughs> of Joe Biden and the title is man fucks whole country. <laughs> God bless that motherfucker there, man. <laughs> but anyways, I never in my life laughed that fucking hard. Anyways, guys, episode 73, we're going to announce our fucking winner. 
Episode right, 73? Is, so, yeah. Okay, so four weeks. Four weeks. Four weeks. Okay. And it's not going to be an instantaneous thing because, like, the person has to have a slot open. And then, like, I got to put in your shoe size and shit. And then they have to do the shoes. But as soon as they're ready, and me and Tony are going to, me and Tony will both sign them as well. This is this is just turning into a logistical fucking nightmare. <laughs> Because yes. either way, I'm gonna have to fucking pay for this shipping. <laughs> if I'm, I'm gonna, ha- to them, I'm gonna have to pay for shipping too, motherfucker. Yeah, but you're shipping it to me, and you're shipping it to them. It's ridiculous. Anyways, guys, we love you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Oh, uh, dude, it's always fun. It's always fun to to look at Jared's face for an hour solid. <laughs> yeah, my soul doesn't die at all. Fucking, but guys. Thank you for watching. We love each and every one of you. Subscribe to the fucking Patreon. Look forward to the fucking giveaways. And of course, below is all of our fucking social media and bullshit. And it will include the new Twitch link. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Go over and follow my fucking Twitch so I can actually start subscription services and bullshit so you don't have to fucking watch ads in the middle of my goddamn videos. And by the way, If you're subscribed to my Patreon, I'm led to believe that there's a way to do this. I can gift subs to people. So if you're on my fucking Patreon, I'm figuring you're already fucking subscribed to Twitch. But guys, until next week, we love you. Yeah, we will see you right back here next week for another episode. Oh, shut the fuck shut up. Shut the fuck up. Ha! I always beat him to it. Oh, go fuck yourself, Jer. Later, guys. Fuck you. Love you. <laughs>